Hi everyone, Mike here. I'm going to take a few minutes and talk about processing your eBay orders through Printful. Uh, recently I've been receiving a lot of questions about uh, how does it all work in general and uh, and one of the main questions that I've been receiving from viewers is how do you get the money? So basically how do you get the money from products that you sell on eBay and who and how do you pay for your, I guess, orders or your purchases through Printful? So basically, that, that's a two-part question is, how do you collect the money from eBay and how do you pay Printful? So I'm going to take you through the pretty much the whole uh, processing of an order. And we'll talk about as, as many of these specific details as possible. Uh, because I want to answer all your questions. But we're going to start with the first step, and this is receiving the order uh, through eBay. So if, if you have an eBay store, you know that this is this is what it looks like when you receive an order. This is a screenshot uh, from my eBay store if you click on orders. So, and, and I have to apologize in advance for blacking out a lot of it, this information because it's either uh, my customer's personal information or it's uh, it's information about the product, and I, and I really don't want to... Uh, show that to everybody right now. So let's go. Let's go through this. As you can see here, I've sold a T-shirt and I've left uh, a political. Just so you know that it's a political theme T-shirt, medium size black. And and I'm showing you these details just because then the next slide and the next slide you'll be able to see that it's the same uh, product that I'm talking about. Quantity sold one. And it was sold for $19.99. So this is very simple. I've sold a medium t-shirt black for $19.99. So just to provide a little more detail, I've uh, I've been selling these items on eBay uh, for $19.99, free shipping included. So what happens next? So somebody's purchased that, and this is the screenshot of my PayPal account. So basically, I've uh, received this money minus PayPal fees, which is $1.04 for the total of $18.95 for that t-shirt. So as you can see here, uh, political t-shirt, medium black, simple. So that answers the per first part of that question that a lot of people have been asking me is how do you collect the money? So this is how you sell something through eBay and the money goes into your PayPal account. So here it is. So the next step, the next step is logging into your Printful account. So this is the screenshot of my Printful account orders. And as you can see here, majority of my orders are my Etsy sales. I, I still make a lot of sales through eBay and Amazon, as you can see here, but the ratio is nowhere near uh, the success of my Etsy store. Anyways, right now we're just looking at my eBay order. So to go to the next step, you have two choices. What you can do is you can automate this process, which is something that I have done uh, for eBay and Amazon. And basically what that means is once somebody has made a purchase through eBay, Printful, I've given them uh, the authority to basically take the money from my credit card, pay for the item that was sold, print it, pack it, and ship it to my customer without me clicking a single button. So basically, all of that has happened before I, before I have even logged into Printful. And as you can see here, the status of that order, as it indicates, is waiting for fulfillment. So once I click on that, on the details of that order, this is what I would see. So again, if you did not automate this process, you would go through these steps manually. So you would review this order. And then for example, you have buttons down here that would say uh, confirm order and then how to pay for it. Like I said, the money that comes into Printful for this specific uh, t-shirt that was sold comes off of my credit card. So right now, let's compare the, the sales uh, cost or price uh, versus what I'm paying. So as you can see here, this is the same uh, t-shirt, which I've sold for 
$19.99 minus $1 for PayPal fees and it was free shipping. My cost for the t-shirt is $7.95 plus shipping as you can see here of $2.87 for the total cost. So this is my cost of $10.82. Uh, and here's the, the pricing breakdown. As you can see here, my customer paid $19.99 uh, minus $1, so $18.99 uh, minus $10.82, which is my printful price for the profit of $9.17, but in reality, it's $8.17. Most of my sales, I go for the profit to be around $5 or $6. In this case, uh, just because it made sense and, and recently Printful has reduced the cost of this t-shirt, uh, my profit is a little higher. Now what I also, the, the way that I price these um, items on eBay is I want to give myself the ability to run sales and uh, continuous sales of 10 or 20% where I, even though, for example, the t-shirt would be selling for $19.99, uh, when you mark it down, the, the final price is something like $17 or $16. So I still make a, a very nice profit. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, it was charged to my credit card. And then basically, uh, it goes to the next step. So right now, the next step is, as you can see here, is uh, printing. Now, because this is printing... I don't have the next steps for this order. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I've pulled up another eBay order and I'll, I'll basically go through the steps that would happen after this step. But before we do that, uh, Printful actually gives you the ability to look at the packing slip as you can see here. So you see exactly uh, the, the label, the sticker that would be on the package that your customer receives. So let's look at that. So this is what it would look like. So basically you would have the barcode, uh, you would have all the details. Uh, in my case, for example, I would have my uh, company name and it says eBay here. I, I want uh, I want that, I, I guess, difference for myself and my customers to have because I don't want them to accidentally get a, a Netsy uh, store order through eBay. And the return address is is the Printful address. So if they have any issues with the product, they would actually be able to return it to this address and it still doesn't go to me. As you can see here, these are my customer's uh, deep details and then the product details. So again, political t-shirt, uh, medium, black, and then uh, it's basically um, explains um, the price breakdown. Okay, so this is the other uh, order that I was talking about. This is something that I received through eBay. Uh, but the reason I'm showing you th this is because this has actually gone to the next step, uh, which includes tracking. So as you've seen with my previous order, you have the packing slip. It tells you that it was printing, uh, but this specific item has already been delivered and you're able to look at tracking. So when I click on tracking, I'm able to see where this item is and as you can see here it brings you directly to the dhl or usps ups whatever the case is uh, their website because it's synced or linked and it, it shows you all the details so this is delivered and it goes through the steps so there's a lot more at the bottom here but i basically just wanted to include uh, the most recent and then the next step so this is the information that i would have through printful because if i get any uh, questions or any concerns from customers, I would be able to pull up this information and see exactly what's happening. But then my customer would also have that information through eBay. And again, this is another step that I don't have anything to do with because through syncing my eBay store and my Printful account, this is automatically done. So these are my eBay details. And if the customer clicks on tracking information this is what it what they would see so it basically reflects what the DHL website has shown me is that the uh, the item was delivered and uh, now eBay would have a record of this so everything is completely integrated everything is completely synced 
And uh, like I said, I personally did not even click a single button from the, the time that a customer has purchased an item from my eBay store until the time that this that, that the same item was delivered. I did not click a single thing because everything is automated. And uh, and that is the that is the beauty that that's what I love about Printful so much. And if you've seen uh, any of my videos where I talk about the Printful Etsy, Printful Wish, Printful uh, Shopify integration is is I always talk about Printful and and I always have to mention that I don't work for Printful, but I actually I love their services so much and their products because it makes it so easy for me. So my job in reality is basically uh, to build online stores and to sync all the products that I already have live um, to to those stores. So for example, what I'm talking about, let's say, is if I'm listing a new product uh, to my eBay store and my Wish store, I can automatically pull those products and list them on Etsy with maybe two or three clicks. So I don't have to go through that manual process of listing each individual uh, product uh, separately. Um, anyways, I'm going to wrap it up here because I feel like I, I might be going on uh, a, a little longer talking about Printful specifically. I would encourage anybody who's ever thought about uh, uh, running a business, uh, running an online business, and you've you've actually considered uh, print-on-demand companies that you want to work uh, with. Uh, print will, Printful, without a doubt, uh, for years now has been uh, proven to, to be an exceptional service. And again, I have nothing to do with them. Uh, their customer service is great. The, the number of products that they um, have available, uh, their shipping time, their shipping cost, all that kind of stuff uh, I've taken into consideration and is great. So basically, in summary, this was uh, about processing your eBay orders uh, through Printful, and, and I've gone through this uh, step by step. I'm going to try and do a, f uh, a few videos for other stores, other integrations as well. A lot of people have also asked me about Wish.com and, uh, and Etsy specifically. So I'm going to do similar videos uh, to show you how easy it can be to, to run multiple online stores uh, with minimal activity after the initial setup. Um, as always, thank you very much for watch watching. If you have any questions, if you have any uh, experiences you want to share, anything that you're doing that's similar to this, please leave a comment down below. And if you if you have questions, again, leave them down below because I'll, I'll be doing a Q&A video and uh, I'll be answering all your questions. Uh, thanks again.